it just does it forever. Um, we have to get to the point where we can make a piece of cobblestone, then we have to get to the point where we can make lava, and then we can create a machine. That oh my god, the, the, the crafting of a clay sapling, the goal, it's called Clay Aiken. Yep. Read all of, read, read, oh. Honestly, read all of the achievements. I like, love they're Lucy, all great. don't sit on me, break a leg. Heart, oh man, this is too much. All right. Um, so I've already moved on to Clay. Yeah, you've left us yeah, all in the have. dust, Jazzy. Jazzy's saying, who cares about these slow nerds? Uh, I'm just planes. trying to make my place look pretty first, you know? I wanted to look guys pretty. I'm going to work on expansion a bit here. Um, yeah, I can get to both Rick and to Jazzy. I can't get to you yet, Ash, but you're almost touching Jazzy's, so we're pretty much there. What's hey, a Ash, I'm going to I'm gonna come meet you, okay? I'm going to build a little bridge, yeah. too. I don't build know what a crushing tub is yet. So, oh, did you... Okay, great, great, great. I already uh, made you got one. a crushing tub, Jazz? Yeah. I just made one, uh, yeah. So... What do we need that? Uh, let me remind myself what we need it for. I uh, assume it's for gravel. Um, so if I look at the gravel sapling, do, 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 do. gravel sapling. Um, do we crush do we something and then it turns into bone meal? No, we just need a petrified sapling and then some gravel. Oh, so we need gravel acorns. Um, and how do you get the gravel acorns? So from the crushing tub, you put petrified acorns in oh. the crushing tub, and you jump up and down, Jasmine. So just <laughs> put a bunch of... Got <laughs> it. I like that. I like that. Okay, petrified acorns. I only have 12 eh, because I moved on to... Eh, uh... eh. Oh my gosh, and it makes some kind of liquid, too. Uh, uh, it makes uh, sap, uh. and I'll tell you right now, the sap can be used, I think, to make torches, but it's a fairly inefficient way to make torches. But gotcha. does it make maple um, syrup, too? <gasps> I don't, I don't know if there's any other purpose. <laughs> there's got to be. Um, there's got to be a way to like crush that and make useful. I think Jazzy's right. There's going to be a maple tree. We're going to make maple syrup. It's going to be there, great. I mean, there may generally be like some food recipes that you can do with it, but I know I'll, since we're early on, I'll also let people know I've been taking a lot of inspiration from another YouTuber called Chosen Architect who's been playing this. Mm -hmm. And he like I, I learned quite a lot about this mod pack from watching him. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll notice me probably doing something similar to him. And I know that he was the one that said like sap is fairly, fairly not useful. All right, I got a gravel Look. sapling. I got a petrified sapling. Okay. Man, this gravel sapling is taking forever to grow. There we go. Is it? Jesus. I think, yeah, just, I think when it comes to growing the saplings, it is just kind of random, like how useful they are. Now, so now it's getting to that point where I'm like, okay, which ones do I grow more of right now? Like which, which do I need the most of? Because I'm assuming dirt is going to be really useful. So I should keep getting dirt. Dirt's super useful early on because yeah. we're gonna just want to make a nice like grass field for our sort and a of, million you know, trees for ourselves. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then at some point soon, we're probably gonna. I'm trying to remember. Um, the gravel one is super useful because <laughs> it's unintuitive, but gravel's the easiest way to get bone meal. You would think that bone saplings would be the easiest way for that, but it's Do not. Do you crush yeah. the gravel itself? Like like. You put the gravel into a water barrel, and it will turn oh. it into bone Oh, oil. okay. Got it. I do need to figure out how to make some clay so I can make a... Um, clay aiken. So I can make a clay... Uh, clay tree. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Yeah. My trees have so merged clay. into one. I don't know where the gravel ends and the petrification begins. Uh so clay, Jasmine, I believe you make these little clay... Ball things. Um, well, I have. Let me look up the recipe. I have clay, 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 like like this. I think if yeah, I big, yes. break it apart, yeah, yeah, yeah. it turns into clay balls. And then it I does can make a exactly. So, and then you want to. I think you need to. Do you need to fire that clay? Yeah, this or one's no, no, unfired. No, no, no. And then I put it in here, and then I fire it up. Exactly. There you well, go. Uh, these are some of the basics. Oh, Rick. Yes. You made drying racks, but the drying racks need to be one cube high, so you need to hang the drying racks off of something. No, they're working. Are they? they yeah. I think they, they, they go into the ground. The only, it's if they're oh. one up high, you can actually see them. Right, yeah, so he's not going to be able to <laughs> see that's why, That's it, why I yeah. couldn't see what was actually happening. I was like, gotcha. okay, so it's done. Yeah. yeah, you get a nice visual if it's up one high, but yeah. okay. I, I assumed it wouldn't work if it was on the ground. I got to say, I'm already super excited for this. I love these kinds of mod packs where it's like turn one thing into the next thing, into the next thing, into the next thing, because you just mm -hmm. feel like, you know, you're tech it up. You're leveling up. I I'll admit, it. like, I, I'm i always... I find some of these mod packs very questionable um, because I feel like sometimes they're super non-intuitive. Mm -hmm. This one, 
they've obviously changed a lot of the recipes, but in a way that I think, oh, that's cute. I like the way that this yeah. thing, it seems to, ne it makes sense that this thing would lead you into that thing. Wait, uh, can you it, only repair yeah. your your crook? You can't repair your uh, Paxel? You, repair you, can Paxel. Repair, you can repair your Paxel with planks, not with oh, sticks. Oh, with planks. And, okay. and it's probably got to be at a crafting, it might have to be at a crafting station, not just nope. in your inventory. You can, no, you can do it you, in your yeah, own you, inventory. You can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Come on, grow! Yeah, sometimes you just want to make sure that there's nothing else in the way, Jazz. Uh, and, no, and no, there's other nothing in the it's way. Just a, it's just yeah, it's, unlucky it's just sometimes. a gravel tree. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of room for its leaves, so it's struggling to find that room. No, it, it, will it, grow it grows eventually. here. It grows here. It, it will. It's just, it, it would grow it, faster if you get more. Exactly. It, it's one of those ones where it'll grow there, but since there is another tree close to it, it is making it harder for it to grow. Because it's a not. Crook? The way that the. Yeah, there, there is. is a stone there's one. a lot of crooks. Um, and there's a lot of paxels, too. I don't There's, care about um, Paxel. I just want better crooks. So I can get this faster. <laughs> Jazz hates that Paxel. She really doesn't care about that Paxel. Look, <laughs> so like, look. I'm I was... so enthusiastic about this Paxel, and Jazz was like, Jazzy "No, is Ash, not on board. It is crap. Look, it is only... crap, and you are crap for liking this crap. Look, look. Yeah, yeah crap. I'm trying to think of a joke between Paxel and Paxton. Not getting uh, there. I was gonna say <laughs> not Paxel, getting there. more like Passhole. All right. Yeah. It's okay. passable. Ah, it's passable. Paxel. <laughs> um, it's Paxable. Okay, anyway, moving on. I'm chopping trees. So, the, uh, the thing that it reminds me of is the mm -hmm. my, my bee mods when I do the bee stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Because the bees, eventually you can get everything from that, and it seems like this tree mod tries to is get you bees. a lot of resources from the trees like you would from the bees. Um, and it's I did that. Knees. And like you said, if there's multiple pigs to get pig related stuff and animal stuff, like, oh, I'm excited. And I don't even want to look into it. Like, I want to be surprised. No. Almost every time you, we've you, done one of these mod packs, I have gone, I have learned everything about it so that, you know, we can be like super experts. I really like the idea of knowing almost nothing. Well, Ash yeah, is it's true. Meme right Price. Ash yeah, Meme Price sort of have reverse roles this time. Yeah. Normally, Price is the one that knows everything about this. And I'm usually Mod Boy. I, I've played. I've played up until the point where um, uh, I'll spoil a little bit. There is a, a mod in this called uh, Simple Network Storage. Simple Storage Networks. Simple oh, Storage okay. Networks. That's what it's okay. called. And it's sort of like ME Networks price, except right. ridiculously simple. Like it doesn't take nearly as much to Good. set it up. And so we can have this very easily combined inventory. Um, but we need to get up to the point where we have right. like these hoppers growing these trees hey, for us in an automated way, right. and yeah, super Can I ask you to start growing some petrified so we can get some cobbles yes. Threw it at you. Okay. What up, Rick? Um, time I'm just see. coming and checking out all your guys' stuff here. Sup, bro? Hey, Rick, see. you walked by and this tree spawned. It's like you gave it life. I am lucky like that. That was adorable. Rick, you, you Rick, name your child. What is this tree named before I chop it down? Oh, its God. name is Tim Tom. <laughs> Aw, Tim Tom. I love you, Tim Tom. All right, goodbye, Tim Tom. No, good, no die, oh, Tim no, Tom. Oh, no, no, Tim Tom. <sighs> goodbye, Tim Tom. What are you doing to my child? <laughs> well, your my child, child is going to give us a whole bunch of delicious, wonderful rocks. I love rocks. Coach D. <sighs> Uh, let's wow. see, let's see. So I'm gonna make us some storage here in a second, y'all, and instead of making normal chests, there's this, uh, again, something I learned from another YouTuber. Um, mm -hmm. There's these things called cabinets. And cabinets. the cabinets are essentially chests, but they can stand up vertically rather than going wide. Ah, right. Um, so you can stack them on top of each other, sort of? Like a wardrobe kind exactly. of deal? Exactly. And right. so you can just take up less space, basically, which is cool. always important in Skyblocks. Yes, very um, much so. All right, let's get some more gravel going. Let's get another Because okay. chests are the past. This tree has trapped me. Chests are for losers. What is this, 1987? Get out of here. With your chests. All right, your um, mama's chest. This <laughs> ain't your mama's chest. I don't think I want to see my mama's chest. Oh, come on, Jazzy, come on! What? She might have stuff in there. <laughs> I don't want to see what my mom was keeping in her chest. Don't you guys talk about my mom's keep chest? It, keep it to yourself, mama. Yeah. All right. Uh, doot, doot, doot. Cool, I can make <sighs> only five cobblestone. Gosh, it takes so many. Because <laughs> you need... Um, how many do you need to make a furnace? Eight, right? You gotta be a square of it? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, mean, I have a furnace over here if you want to use it. Yeah. Um, if you're not using it, I might. Just because I would like to get some charcoal so I can start making us more torches. Go for it. Um, oh, the furnace looks different. Uh, actually, hold on. What does it take for the... Okay, let that go. Cobblestone generator, because I think we're almost there. Probably. Um, and once we, honestly, once we get, because we're all almost pretty much connected now, and I think once we torch this place up and feel comfortable, I feel like we could consolidate all the trees into, like, one area so that we can open up areas for other stuff. Like, we don't yeah, really need to be separate start, zones. I'm going to start filling in here in the middle, okay? Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be awesome, Rick. Rick. Um, but... How close are we to the sand sapling? Because once we have that, we can make the cobblestone generator. Uh, we're I don't know how close. to make sand. Because we're at gravel, so I'm right? I'm going down the line. At... Yeah. Well, I need a bone next. You're getting clay, clay aching, right? No, or I need bone get clay. next. Okay. Clay's how already do we done. get bones? Ash said it was something Ooh. about the gravel. Well, that's for bone meal. If you want bone meal, you want gravel. But there well, is just a bone sapling. We um, need a bone right, meal need, for the bone need, sapling. Oh, exactly. so then we might have to spawn skeletons to kill them? No. no. no, no. So if if we just want bone meal, uh, you want to use the water bucket, which someone made already the bucket have already. It right looks here. Like. Or the, the oh yeah, the, there we go. Uh, so we want to fill that with water, um, which we can do from the crushing tub, if I remember correctly. Um, no, 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 that's, <laughs> that's the sap. sap. So, so give her that. No. Uh, I believe if I believe if you just crush normal saplings in there, you can make water. So if it's like that, I think it's shift right click to empty. There we go. And then if you just chuck some saplings in there, some spare ones that you don't care about. How do I get rid of this this crap in this? Oh, crap. Uh, put it put it into the crushing tub, Jess. Then jump on Maybe. it. Oh. No. Um. I, I just have it pour off the edge, Jazz, and then fill it in. With I the can't. Water, I so. can't drop it. It's something that you can't do. I don't know. All right. You know, um, I'm just gonna make another one of these. So you, here's a question that I have: How do I make those gravel acorns, Jazzy? Uh, not gravel. It, uh, clay. Clay. Clay ones. Clay. Excuse um, me. Yeah. Try to remember. The acorns. <sighs> clay acorn. I think it is just. Well, no, you, may, you need to make a clay sapling, which is just it's clay. Sapling. It's clay acorns oh, it's around a, a sapling. It's oh. a petrified resin, one gotcha. dirt resin, and one gotcha. dirt sapling. I see now, yeah. I see. Cool. Oh, there you go, Ash. Boop, 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 boop. Are you so. really just squishing the water out of it? There that's, we go. That's so depressing. it requires 10 saplings, and that gives you one bucket. Okay. Um, and then you want to put uh, gravel. If you've made gravel. I have um, not made gravel. You, you can make gravel. Uh, I think you can do it uh, four I think you can use four gravel blocks on oh it. Oh man, I got it. The the range on the on the tree dancing is actually pretty wide. It is. I don't yeah. realize I can sit in the middle here and I can reach all of my trees. That's pretty Rick, neat. good job. Yeah, it's Thanks, all filled Rick. in now. All right, and there now should be now, base. And now there should be some charcoal in here now. Yeah, so I should be able to make some torches, okay. I think. So I got some gravel, throw it in. Oh, uh, yeah, true. You should get three uh, yep. bone meal for each gravel, yep, and you can do it. it, I think, four times, three or yep. four times that you can do that. Bone sapling. Cool. Bone All right, hard plenty hard. of torches now. So, Jazz, once you have enough cobblestone, I'd love it if you could make the um, the stone version of that cauldron. Oh, sure. All right. I just quickly went into F7 menu, so I'm going to be putting down torches everywhere uh, where there is bad light. Ash, I don't have enough gravel. Okay, I'm working on resin. getting more. I'm, I'm working on getting enough. Uh, Here's some um, gravel. I'm working on getting more petrified, uh, petrified stuffs to make more cobble. Cool. Oh, you took no, the you gravel. you see a torch? Oh, sorry, I took stuff. I can uh, just tell me no, what you okay. need. No, it's okay. If I'll... you wanna, Ash just wants more cobblestone, so I just gave it to him. Gotcha. I do. I thought you gave me. Gra why? Why are you giving me gravel? Though, Didn't you want gravel saplings? No, I need a. What, no, do what, what do you need? What do you need? What do you want? I have petrified you told stuff. Me, you told me to make yeah. more gravel. What do you need, Ash? I told you to make a um, a stone cauldron. Which stone cauldron. Stone. Gotcha. Okay. I, I don't have cobblestone. I, I'm working on gravel and bone. Okay, let's make a bunch of dirt if I can. So, yeah, uh, anyway, y'all, then... I, I torched up everything. If you move a torch, just hit F7 real quick just to make sure that the area is still... Um, covered so that we don't spawn enemies, you know? Yes, sir. 
Um, we should. Do we have a chest or anything yet? No, I actually, I, was so, I got distracted. Sorry, I was gonna make um, some cabinets. cabinets. Get to it. Yeah, one. cabinets. There's one. Uh, let's see. Boop. All right. So, um, so I was talking about it earlier. Uh, I brought it up. Daybreak. Um, Rick, you were kind of you're kind of on the fence on that show. Jazzy, Ash, have y'all watched it at all? Nope. Not at all. No. I there's so many it. shows, Price. Yeah. There's no, so know. many oh, shows now. So here's the thing, because I wasn't that interested in it, and then I watched the first episode, and I kind of got hooked. And I get which I get your criticisms, Rick, for sure. It's it's hit or miss the writing and whatnot. Um, the the closest thing I could describe it as, and this is why I wanted to bring it up to you, Ash. It's almost like a Sunset Overdrive show. It is. I I thought the exact same thing. Yeah. It is like, very Sunset Overdrive e. Really? It feels it like Sunset Overdrive in the tone. Very comedic, like over the top, almost Shaun of the Dead style, like um, comedy horror. Um, mm -hmm. And the premise is that all the adults are gone or turned into what are called ghoulies, which are sort of like sort of like zombies, but a little more mutated. So kind of closer to like the things from. Uh, what you call it from Sunset Overdrive and just like the main character is like a skateboarding cool kid from high school who like just goes around and it's like you know living in the apocalypse uh, it's bonkers but the biggest thing okay. is that because all the adults are gone the world has been essentially inherited by uh, high schoolers so the roving gangs of the apocalypse are basically the cliques from high school on steroids um, okay. Like wow. the jocks are full on Mad Max in it, like. Full but there's on. there's clicks within the jock section. So like yeah. there's like the football players who are like the alpha jocks, but then there right. are also like the, the golf, golf team club <laughs> who are kind of like looked down upon within yeah. the yeah. like jock click. You know, yeah. uh, it's. I like the story. The story is fun. the concept is incredible. Like the, the world concepts and amazing. The concept are incredible. Yeah. Half the time when I'm watching it, I'm like, this is good. The other half, I'm rolling my eyes because the writing yeah. is yeah. cringy at times. Yeah, wait, very wait. much so. I was going to uh, ask, uh, let's try to put all of the Sky Orchard stuff in this one chest next to it. I, I, okay. I, I just put those in there. You can move them. Yeah. I, I used up all the petrified resin and the petrified acorns that I had. All right, I'm making this a big square platform, y'all, Okay. Okay. So what, right what I wanted to uh, to ask is, what would our gang of the apocalypse be? Oh. Um, I wouldn't be there. <laughs> I would you have checked be out the moment well, yeah, everything no, I mean, started. For real, we would have all been dead already. Okay, like because we're too old in this world. You're over the age of like yes. 20, if you're over boom. 18, you're a ghoulie. Yeah, yeah. Um, um basically, if you weren't but... in high school, you're 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 a ghoulie. <laughs> Uh, you know, I want to believe that I would be some sort of like apocalyptic food cart owner. Okay, I can all see right. that. You'd be a foodie, okay? That's so actually you... kind of clever because there's a bunch of like different mutated animals in this post-apocalypse. Uh -huh. So like, you'd be experimenting with like new cuisine, you know? Yeah, you'd be like oh, two-headed crow cuisine. foie gras or something like right, that. That's what you'd right. be doing. <laughs> there's a crow with two heads at one point. It's also like weird mutant squirrels. It's a cool, it's a neat, <laughs> it's a neat show. Like it, while I'm watching it, I am at least entertained and shocked by many things yeah. just because I'm like, what? Dude, <laughs> I will say like over the summer, I felt like there was, you know, some, some long gaps maybe where there wasn't like a TV show that I was interested in to watch. Now it's legitimately like a problem. There's so many shows yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. watch. Totally. Um, there was <laughs> and there's there's about to be that new Disney channel too, so there's gonna be Disney so Plus, many yeah, more comes out in right? November. Yeah. And that's they got actually, the Mandalorian, which everybody's getting hyped for actually. It looks good. Um, the production value on that is incredible. It looks it amazing. May, it honestly may be the best Star Wars thing to be made in a while. I was if, watching if uh or I was playing After Party yesterday, and there mm -hmm. was a reference in it where um, they were talking about oh, okay. um, binge watching. They were like, binge watching unsustainable content, I think is what they referred to. And <laughs> that's where we are right now with the 
binge worthiness of everything these days, it is yeah, unsustainable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. completely unsustainable. When everybody wants to watch everything within a couple days, they have to turn out new shows all weekly. the time. Yeah. Right. Rather than just monthly or bi yearly or yearly as it used to be, they need to be creating content all the time, which means that the production of the quality or the quality is going to start suffering very quickly. Well, you, it so makes you hopeful, side, though. Oh, go ahead, Jess. Oh, I'd say what makes me hopeful is that if they really need that much content, they're the industry for entertainment is just going to expand. They can't be the same people over and over again. They have to exactly. for sure. New exactly. studios. Those, yeah. Those thi- that's exactly what I was thinking, Jez. It's like it causes the competition that will mm-hmm. force good content to be made. Like it's it's a better yeah. environment for good content to be made than like there's not enough places to watch the things. Access Definitely. is now not a problem. It's, you know, what is the best stuff that can draw you in? What content creator or what place has the best stuff to watch the thing that really is going to destroy it this is what i think you should worry about more is like apparently the stuff that's driving all of their big money making decisions is made off of old shows not new ones so it's like yes what? yeah we, we've talked that, about how the office of friends are, are driving streaming yeah. services you know i think it's going to be a blessing and a curse because there's yeah. definitely a opportunity for a lot of new uh, creators and directors and producers to come out and uh, get their stuff seen, but you're going to have to sift through a lot of garbage to find the good stuff, to find the yes. gems, you know? Yes. Uh, also, specialization is becoming a thing. On NPR, of all places, they had a story about the new streaming service Sh- uh, Shudder. I think that's what it's oh, called. The horror uh, one? It's the horror streaming service, it's right? It's been out for a long, a long time, of, actually. Yeah. What? Um, yeah, Shutter's out for a long horror, time. It's, it's, it's really like hitting its stride now, though. Yeah. Um, Shutter's actually great. And yeah, that's what they were saying. You know, it uh, it gives the opportunity for all these um, horror directors. And a lot of horror directors, they're small time because oh, yeah. horror is so cheap to produce. But they were like, we get buried on platforms like Netflix. Like, people don't see our stuff. It's not advertised, you know? Exactly. But, when you're oh. on a platform that specifically caters to horror fanatics, then they're gonna they're gonna find that content, you know? Exactly. Exactly. So there, there's good and bad to be had, but man, yeah, I, I'm excited we're, we're just for competition. Stuff too fast. I'm excited for competition. I'm excited for mm-hmm. new ideas and new IPs because let's be honest, reboots are getting really old. Oh yeah. You can only oh, reboot yeah. a series so many times before it's just like everybody's really sick of it. 100%. And I'm also Sometimes really scared of reboots. Well, I'm Sometimes also scared they're... about reboots being worse than the original content. Oh, mm-hmm. it, it always and is. Then, I mean, and then, well, like, I don't. It not ruins always. it for a new generation. Like, I know that like Robert Smekis has said that they'll never, within his lifetime, allow a reboot of Back to the Future. But people mm-hmm. are starting to like try to get in that. Nine times out of ten, a reboot is going to be worse. There, I mean, unless the thing that the reboot is based on was terrible to was begin with. Was not great to begin with, yeah. exactly. It's yeah. going to be bad, you know? The, yeah. I can't think of one situation where a they rebooted a good IP and then made it better. Jasmine, it's fair. Can yes. I steal some of those uh, sand saplings for me and I'll help you make some sand? Yeah. Guys, yeah. I, I'm... Uh, um, I'm building this over here to be kind of like forestry area. So if we want to, we can move all the trees this way. Um, oh yeah, let me. Yeah, um, I mean, go for it. I, I, let me right make now, some more yeah, yeah. dirt. No, it's, like, it's basically we'll what I'm saying. Like once you finish those trees, yeah, let's just move everything. So then we can have it all consolidated, and then you guys can start using this space for like you know, yeah. fun activities. There's sort of a special way to try to grab something that might fall hold to the hold shift place. and get close to yeah. it. <laughs> Watch out for holes because uh, that just one. punches some holes. I'm going to make some extra slabs. Um, And it's no big deal because I just made a bunch of dirt and I can focus on making more dirt if we Mm -hmm. want to. And actually, once we get... um, The automated thing? Once we get... No, once we get hoppers, I think, we can start getting leaves. Oh, and making dirt from leaves, yeah. um, Making grass from dirt, actually. Right, the composting Um, bins. And we've basically, from one piece of dirt, you can get four grass, which then you can get stuff to plant on much more quickly. Oh, Ash, you know what? I just figured out what it is to do the dirt thing. It's, um, you shift click and break it and you immediately put something underneath it because when an, when an object falls, it first falls up and then down. And so if you get an object underneath it quickly, it'll just push it up. That's the, that's the trick. 
All right, y'all. So we got dirt over lots here. of stuff here. So lots we can make some dirt. Places to plant things. Do do do. And then yeah, I can just kind of right. dance around here and do this. And I'm gonna do. I like doing this with my um, trees. It's just it's a really simple thing, but I put the slabs around them like this, so it shows where the planting spots are. I don't know. I like it. It's a visual thing. I'll say that we shouldn't have to do that for too long, though, Price, because uh, we're going to ha have all these trees and hoppers pretty soon. Or not right. hoppers, uh, bonsai. Well, then bonsai we, can, we, can, we, can, we can use this as a step up to the bonsai. Or yep. something. That's water. Boop. Boop. How do I make a palm? Ash, you boogieing, man. I see you boogieing. Uh, I'm boogieing so much. Da -da 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 I like to think that that's the song you're singing in your head. Oh, I am. Excuse me. Cool. How are we doing on progress? Ew. Uh, oh, you made it I'm to... trying to get to the next tree. So you got palm yeah, trees, though? Jas Jasmine just got us. Th these are all sand trees here, Price. So once uh -huh. we get enough to make uh, some sand. and Do we have a furnace, actually? We Jasmine. have a furnace over here. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm going to make some glass, and then we should be able to make the cobblestone gen. Cool. Um, so wait, if I'll I put one these. of these sand saplings in here, does that does it have to be a stone one? Stone cauldron? Uh, which which recipe are you trying to do, Jess? I'm trying to make a cotton sapling. Uh, let me look at the cotton sapling. But I need to have a jungle sapling in order to do that. So, but mm, if I have hot. a clay sapling and put it into a cauldron with mud, oh, you uh, you need okay. mud then, huh? You need mud. Yeah, okay. so you just need um, mud is dirt and water in one of these water buckets. How do you here, empty this out again? Uh, shift right click uh, not with, an empty hand, with an empty hand. Ooh, who went and put a fence around? Look at you all fancy. I'm putting fences around. You protecting us, Rick. Thank you. You looking out for me because I'm always looking off. up. I'm not looking at my toes. There you go, buddy. Everyone knows dogs I... can't look up. Pigs only look up. Okay. I need one dreaming of the future. more set, though. This water. Mm. All right. Um, let me come over here. So, what are we trying to put in each of these, Ash? Just want to consolidate uh, my materials. Oh, so one of them is just the sky orchard stuff, which we're gonna want to have that consolidated. Okay. Yeah, consolidating um, all that stuff into there, and then. If any of you have wood to add to the cause, then um, just put it in the. Oh, I definitely for do. Me. If you would. I definitely do. Right. I'll put um, uh, thirty logs in there for you. A little bit of other wood. Perfect. Dirt. Same. All right. I need some oh, dirt. There's a whole bunch of logs. Uh, Jess, there should be plenty of resin to make some with. I see it. I see. It, I see it. I just yeah, need yep. some dirt acorns. There you go. Now, what I will say is all my stuff's in there now, other than what I'm gathering right now. So, like, everybody be careful not to ever use, like, the last sapling or, like, to know when you we have used one sapling. the last sapling. Yeah. Or, um... I'll, I'll say there's going to be a point where we won't be growing trees like this. We'll be growing them in bonsai right. pots. And if we ever get to the point where it's the last sapling, don't put it in a bonsai pot. Grow it normally. Crook it. Get more saplings. Right, 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 then, right. Yeah. And what I think I'll do is I'll, when we get to that point, I'll probably do what I tend to do is like I'll do a lot of, uh, you know, monitoring of the amounts of items that we have and uh, filling up the back stock. What can I say? I used to do so, stock in retail and now there. I do it in Minecraft. And then I need my... Jungle, jungle, clay sapling. Oops. Oh, so we were talking about, you know, Netflix type stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. TV shows, but I watched a movie that Netflix put out that was oh. actually good. It's rare that Netflix has a good. It's the My Name Is Dolomite. You guys got to check it out. It's oh, amazing. Oh yeah, I I, I uh, saw that. I was intrigued because it's Wesley Snipes. It's and great. Who else? It's uh, it's uh, um, um, Eddie Murphy. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy plays that's right. Rudy Ray Moore. Uh, it's and it's the biopic about Rudy Ray Moore creating the character Dolomite. The character it's of Dolomite, amazing. exactly. Which it's I, I amazing. was like, it's kind of incredible. It's the kind of movie where I was like, oh no, it's on Netflix. It must be bad. <laughs> like that's what I thought. I was like, oh no, this is a movie that was made that like they were like, boom, Oscar worthy. We're gonna make something awesome, and then obviously it was mm -hmm. bad because it ended up on Netflix. So the fact that you're saying it's good makes me hopeful.